Welcome to Kids Spaces. This is the show that's all about you and your space, your home, surroundings, and how they relate to your kids. Hi, I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Today we're in a beautiful house checking out their kids' spaces, and we're starting, obviously, in the boys' room. Pretty cool stuff. It really is. And we're going to check out the girls' room, which is just as charming. And we're going to show you how to liven up a room with the right personality and the right mood. And do it quickly. That's right. Parents, how are your texting and tweeting skills? <laughs> are your kids leaving you in the dust? Are you all thumbs? Well, help is on the way today. We're going to show you a great physical activity for the kids that's good for their muscles, their coordination, and cardiovascular. That's right. You know what? I'm a bit winded. We're going to hand it over to <laughs> Andy Tillis. Take it away, Andy. That was rough. Do you need a break? Many parents these days are becoming all too aware that their children are spending way too much time with electronic activities and not getting the physical activity their developing bodies need. Unfortunately, there seems to be a direct connection between this sedate lifestyle and childhood obesity in America. So today, Kid Spaces is going to take a look at a fun and engaging way to lure your kids away from the computer and television and get them the right kind of exercise. With me is Ben Barnes, an orthopedic physical therapist specialist who's going to discuss some questions about exercise for children and, yes, their parents too. Ben, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank you. Great to be here. So Ben, we all understand how important exercise is, but how do we accomplish that these days? The most important thing is for it to be fun. At, at least every week I get, the, I get the question, what should I buy for exercise? And I say, just do what you enjoy. It might be going for a walk, it might be walking on a treadmill or a bike. Just whatever you do, just, just make it something that you enjoy, which makes it more likely that you're gonna continue doing it. And I love that you're stressing fun, but how do we make exercise fun when there are so many other distractions? As, as parents, it, it can be relatively easy because we set the guidelines on what our kids are allowed to do and not, and not allowed to do. In, in my house, I have a four and a six year old and, and they know when the sun's out, the TV can't be on. So we eliminate some of those passive things that distract them and then offer things that they enjoy, you know, jumping on a trampoline or, or climbing a tree or, or going for a bike ride, things like that that, that are going to get their bodies moving and overall improve their, their physical fitness. So what types of suggestions would you make? Again, it goes back to being fun, you know, whether the kid enjoys riding a bicycle, climbing a tree, bouncing on a trampoline. As, as kids, we all bounced on our, on our beds at home and our mothers all yelled at us. Um, so, so now they have great bounce houses and trampolines that, that kids absolutely enjoy. You get, you get excellent overall health benefits from jumping on a trampoline. It improves your cardiovascular system, your musculoskeletal system, and your neuromuscular system. Our heart is a muscle, so when you bounce on the trampoline, your heart pumps, your lungs pump. It, it overall improves your, your cardiovascular fitness, reduces the likelihood of heart disease, you know, all the benefits of, of regular cardiovascular exercise. Um, the musculoskeletal system, through the bouncing, it improves muscle strength and it improves bone density and bone growth because as your, as your muscles pull on your bones, the bones respond by improving their density, which decreases the likelihood of osteoporosis. In, in your neuromuscular system, the trampoline is a great, or the bounce house, both of those are great tools to improve your, your, your neuromuscular system. Because of the unstable surface, it makes your body adapt. It's like walking down the, the street and you stub your toe, it, your neuromuscular system kicks in to prevent you from falling, and the trampoline and the bounce house are, are great tools for that. Well, that's great because we're all set up outside for bounce activities. We actually have the president of YJ Manufacturers, Craig Adams, with us, and he's all set up to get us bouncing. You ready to take it out? Great. Come on. Hi, Ben. Hey. Hi, Craig. Hi, Andy. How are you doing? Great. Nice to see you. You too. Thank you. So, Craig, I see you have a lot of fun things set up here. Tell me about them. Well, behind us, I have one of our new jump pod trampolines set up. And in a bit, we're going to look at our bounce house and also at bouncers. So we have three products to uh, have fun with today. Well, I've seen trampolines before, but I have never seen one like this before. Well, this is kind of unusual. It's uh, because of its design and engineering. It's rather uh, different from the traditional trampoline. So I see that this one has a top. Tell me about that. Well, the top is a new feature, and uh, the intent of it was originally to keep bird droppings and tree droppings from falling on the trampoline bed and leaves and so forth. We've also found uh, that it is a great UV inhibitor, so it protects the bed fabric and the pads from degrading with the UV radiation from the sun. 
And another benefit we have found, especially in hot climates, it keeps the bed cool and comfortable so you can use it during the day. Now I'm sure most parents are saying, this looks like a lot of fun, but is it safe? Well, I can't speak for other people's trampolines, but our products, the Jump Pod in particular, are designed to a very high-end standard, and they are safe. What is not safe is how people sometimes use them. And of course, that's what makes the media events and YouTube and that kind of thing. But the product itself is inherently safe if used properly. So I think it's really important that parents are involved. It is. We recommend, with children especially, that there's adult supervision. And uh, the key thing there is to have one at a time on the trampoline. Most injuries with children will occur because they don't have the enclosure system like we have set up here, which keeps them from falling off the trampoline. Or they get, you know, three or four kids out there and in a moment or two someone's knee is going to hit someone's face and then you got a problem. Exactly. So it's really important that it's one at a time. That's correct. We recommend that. So Ben, do you have any suggestions for games that we could play? For the most part, if you stay out of the way, kids, they're going to have a great time on this. But, but the old traditional basketball game of horses is, is just one example. For instance, a child can, can do a, a bounce or a sequence of bounces. They get out, and the next one goes in and tries to reproduce the same bounce. And if they, if they mess it up in some form or fashion, they get the point or the H or however you want to play. But well, that kids sounds have, like a good time. Yeah, kids have a great time on it. Well, we also have a bounce house, right? Yes, we do. We can walk over and take a look at that now if you'd like. Great, let's do that. So this is the bounce house. Yes, Andy, this is one of our bounce houses. This looks like a lot of fun. Oh, it is. Kids love it. And is it something that's durable? Uh, this particular model, uh, Ben's kids have been using it for the last about six years, around, what, a couple of times a week, Ben? Or... Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, it is a long and time. And it's in great shape. Yes, it's, they were made to last. Now, with the trampoline, it's one child at a time. So how many do you recommend go in the bounce house at a time? On the bounce house, I recommend no more than three. Okay, and what's an appropriate age? Three years or older. Perfect! So, what kind of games can we play? Dump the balls on Andy. You know, I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> Whoa! Okay! <laughs> well, good, you stuck the landing. Yeah, I think that was a perfect 10. Yeah, it was. <laughs> So this is a lot of fun. Is this what you were talking about with your kids? Yes, yeah, so this is the bouncer. We have this in our living room and the kids are on and off at two, three minutes at a time through the course of a day and they get 20 minutes of exercise and they don't, don't even realize it. All of these exercises and fun events that we have uh, create a social activity with kids. They learn to share and have their turn and uh, there's a social aspect that we feel is important. Wow, I love all of these toys and I know that our viewers are going to love them too. Where can they get them? You can get them through major retailers like Walmart.com or Dunham's or Mills or you can go to our website for more retailers at JumpPod.com. Craig and Ben, thank you so much for being on Kids Spaces. This was so much fun. Thanks, Andy. We had a really great time too. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. If you'd like to see this segment again, log on to DesigningSpaces.tv and click on the Kids Spaces link where we'll provide a link to JumpPod. For Kids Spaces, I'm Andy Tillis. Let's bounce. Well, great topics on the show today for both kids and parents. Plus, we've seen some great Kids Spaces. Hope you got some great ideas. Thanks for joining us today on Kids Spaces. We are out of time. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.